Welcome to another installment of Property Vlogs today. I'm so excited to show you this gorgeous three bedroom house by Blur Homes. It's the Buxton and it looks like this. Right, all the information about the size, the specification, location are all in our description. So if you want to know more, click there. However, if this sounds good to you, stay tuned and we'll tour it together. So come inside and let's go inside and Wow, welcome. So now that we're inside, I'm gonna talk about first impressions. I love the ambience of this. It's not too tight. I will say in here, the ceiling height feels like it's your standard ceiling height. And we'll see if that's gonna be what it's like for the rest of the property. So immediately, I'm gonna look at the front door. That's your first impression, isn't it? So we've got our uh, frosted glass insert there, letting in natural light. I like this cast iron effect to the door and well, the letterbox and the handle. You've got a viewfinder here, a keyhole for security. And you come in on and you're straight into this luxury vinyl tile flooring. It's quite spacious um, because I am adjusting my expectations according to the house type as well. So. With that being said, let's go to the rest of the tour. We are now straight into this super colorful formal lounge. <laughs> I was gonna say main lounge there. In terms of proportions, I think it's pretty spot on. So I love this wallpaper. Okay, now that I've got that out there, I can focus on the architecture. Right, so in terms of size, we're looking at proportion and ceiling height. The ceiling height seems to have been a bit lifted. It might just be in my imagination, but it feels definitely more spacious in here. We've got space for a love seat, a two seater, an armchair. I think you could squeeze in another love seat there and a three seater in that corner. They've done multiple focal points, which is why my eye and maybe yours might be dancing around the room as well we've got the tv which is your dedicated focal point on the console there and then you've got an art wall over here as well so maybe you could flip them around depending on how you like to flow through a space first thing i wanted to highlight in terms of architecture we've got the window here facing the front of the property during the daytime that would flood this space with so much nice light natural light and then that pretty much sums up this space um touching on the skirting boards and eye mongery they're square edge profiles and that pretty much makes it kind of contemporary we also want to focus on the fact that these are more kind of some people call them shaker style some people call them barn style but they're very um traditional style panel doors as well where you can see the wood grain coming through through this mystery door we've got quite a nice size storage space underneath the stair um, that's got your consuming unit and that's where your router would go I like that so that could be your cloak for this floor or a storage space you then flow from that space into this space which is a kitchen an l-shaped kitchen with a dining area this l-shaped kitchen kind of cradles this dining area and then there's a little space over there peeking at me which i'll show you in a second through here you're led into the kitchen but then it flows into the dining without getting too distracted let me look at the features for you so what you're getting in this kitchen Oh, actually, Brian, if you look closely, there's a slight wood grain on these doors. That's a bit different. There's a bit of a wood grain. So subtle details like that I really enjoy. You've got your brush chrome handles, storage space. The carcasses are white as well, which is typical. You've got your laminate worktop in a very warm toned, almost beige, very neutral toned um, wood grain effect. And then that's been contrasted with this slightly darker version in your actual cabinet and i love the wood grain effect you've got storage there storage here with the um you've got your drawers as well for the cutlery so instead of putting the oven there we've obviously got the oven relocated elsewhere in the kitchen so working through we've got extract fan by zanussi you've got a hob here gas hob by zanussi as well your backsplash is um back painted glass splash back and then you've got storage wall mounted storage here storage cupboards as you can see there's ample shelving and ample storage i like that you've got recessed lighting underneath the shelving and then you've got this beautiful kind of almost carbon black with a few glitter sparkle 
sparkly bits inside of it um, in the sink. I can't quite read the, the, the brand of that, but it looks gorgeous. Um, so that's laminate worktop with that matte black contrast. I really love that. You've got storage underneath the sink as well. And then the horizontal handle obviously tells you you've got a dishwasher here by Zanussi. Moving on, let's come over here. We've got our integrated oven here by Zanussi. And then again, storage space above. You've got your fridge here and then a freezer. And this is quite a tall freezer. It's more of a 50-50 split. And then there looks to be an end panel here, which could be used for more storage if you choose to customize it that way. Our dining table here is a four seater. And I think if you were to extend it to a six seater, it would probably be quite tight. Maybe you could orientate it a different way, but ideally you could fit six people in this space. And I think there's a double door here going at the back garden which I'm wondering if you can kind of glimpse at, even though the sun's setting now. Um, and then let's look at the nook that I said that I want to show you. This is your utility nook, which is really nicely placed next to the kitchen. Again, maybe this could be a, a pantry space or store space. I can kind of hear the distant humming of our boiler. So let's have a look. That's your Logic Combi S135 by Ideal. And then you've got this beautiful worktop that we saw earlier and then your integrated appliance and storing shelf there. Great, so mystery door takes us to where? Downstairs toilet maybe? Yes, okay, so this is where your downstairs toilet is located. Again, in a more traditional layout of coming through the kitchen to the toilet. Some people might not like the fact that the toilet is not accessible off the main hallway, but remember, given the floor plan and the way it is, it's definitely a bonus to have a downstairs toilet. Um, so this is the toilet and you can see the size of it, the two units, the, the actual unit and the sink and then the ceiling height and just using the space underneath the staircase. So right, let's go upstairs and as we're just about to go upstairs, I wanted to just let you know that this would be a fantastic opportunity for you to subscribe to our channel and like the video. So don't forget to do that before. So let's keep moving. So going up to the first floor, the staircase is straight for the majority of it and then it winds to the left like this. And now we are on the landing. So now that we're on the landing, I wanna use this, this opportunity to tell you, if you've got any questions about this property, read the description for the developer's actual specifications on this property. Right, so moving on, the first room that draws me in is this one. This is adorable. They are absolutely melting my heart with the staging. I haven't seen this wraparound rainbow before. What do rainbows do? They don't lie flat on 2D walls. They go over you. They form a canopy. This is a fantastic idea. So if you stage this, I'm telling you, you did a great job. Well done. You've got a window face in the front of the property. It is a single bedroom. You can see it's quite snug, fits the length of the bed. So you probably put under bed storage here because I don't think you'd have that much space to put another wardrobe. They've put an open wardrobe. And if you were to put a standard wardrobe, it would narrow the space here. But let's see if there's a reason for that. So they've put a little drop drawer there, a dressing table there, and then, aha, okay. So maybe I do take it back. They don't have a wardrobe, but they have a full store with shelving behind. It doesn't have a light though. So if you were to go and, you know, if you were interested in this house, you could potentially negotiate having a light put in that so that it's fully functional. Coming back out, we're gonna go into the next room, which is this room over here. So this is a double bedroom. Essentially, it's a king size double because it's a king size room because the bed could be upgraded and then you have your end tables either side. You've got your window facing the front of the property and then you've got your focal point when you're in bed would be this wall, but obviously the feature wall is the one with the headboard. It's been beautifully staged here, very functional. You've got your homework area there and then you've also got space for a wardrobe here and 
you could decide if you wanted to have it to be built in or like they've done just a standalone wardrobe the next room is going to be the family bathroom so in the family bathroom we've got our window which i am happy to see is now becoming something that is just a standard detail to have a window we're no longer having internal bathrooms in new built houses you've got beautiful half height tiling here and the stone effect and it's a three-piece suite with a shower over bath so my recommendation is if you're going to have a shower you should negotiate with a house builder to bring the tiling all the way up so that you can stand but however i think someone told me those type of showers tend to be for animals or for having a shower while sat down if that makes sense so the next room i'm kind of drifting into is this room beautiful beautiful room again the staging is lovely it's very warm and inviting you've got king size bed here two bedside tables plus space either side window facing the back of the property you've got a wardrobe double wardrobe here okay floor to ceiling and it's discreet some people might not like the fact that that's directly opposite the bed because they might want a tv however that's something you can decide because again new builds there is a degree of flexibility in them um so that's nice to see that that's been considered and integrated into the space this then flows nicely onto this space which is your ensuite i like this you know what i never thought i would actually love white towels this much um because when i'm given the option i never go for white towels but by doing this it makes it so light and airy maximizes the feel of the space um, we've got a fully enclosed shower there. This is a thermostatic shower by Hans Grower as well. You've got a radiator here versus a, a towel rail. Would have been nice to have a towel rail. Um, you've got your sink there where you'd probably put your vanity underneath. And then you've got your toilet there, mirror there, a standard. And then you've got your window behind there letting in ventilation. So the only thing I would mention is if that radiator could be changed to a towel rail that'd be amazing so i think after that we've got pretty much that's pretty much all the rooms on this floor so we have made it to the end of this tour and you have made it to the end of this tour if you liked what you saw please leave a like before you go give us a thumbs up and then subscribe so that you're notified when we get our next video and our next video, our previous video should pop up any second, either over here, over here. But yes, thanks for staying that far and see you in the next video. Bye.